Anne's testimony of restoration and deliverance is a reminder of God's transformative power to heal and restore broken lives. From experiencing physical healing upon sitting in the church to being liberated from the spirit of confusion that had tormented her, Anne's testimony bears witness to God's redemptive love and faithfulness. Through her journey of restoration, Anne found renewed hope, purpose, and direction, reaffirming God's promise to restore all that was lost and to bring wholeness to the brokenhearted. Place the round. Amen. Place the round again, church. Amen. My name is Han. I come from Embu County. So I will start with the testimony the way I came to know Pastor Harlan. One day I, I came to visit my sister here in Nalopi from Embu. And then one day I was fairly sick in the house and my sister's kid is two years old. She wanted me to put the music on TV and I told her I was very sick. She should take the remote herself and put the music. Instead, she put Pastor Harlan preaching on TV. So when I was sleeping, I felt interested with the preaching and I started watching. That day, Pastor Harlan was preaching about what you are facing right now is not the target of the devil. So I became interested with the preaching and then it was on Saturday. The following day, I came in church. I came in this church last year. Uh, it was about, it was before, the, before Christmas, the, week, the one week before Christmas. And when I entered the church, I, when I came, to, I came on the way from, from where I lived to the church, I came sitting on the road because I was so weak. I could not even walk and I had no money to need to enter the motorbike so I came sitting on the way like four times. When I entered the church, I was so late, I came about 12 o'clock. By the time the, the usher gave me the chair, because the chairs were full and then I heard the pastor preaching, it's not a must, the, the preacher to put the hands on you to play for, for you. Even you yourself, you have the power to deliver yourself. And then the pastor Aaron said, even the chair you are sitting on can deliver you from what you are facing. So immediately when I sat on the chair, I felt I was a different person. I did not know even the pastor. I did not know even the name. I just came because I saw him on the TV. From that day, I have been entering the church. I am sick. I am depressed. And every time when I enter the church, I go home a different person. Even the pastor, nobody knows me. Nobody knows I exist in the church. I just come, I get the difference, I'd go home. So Amen. when I came in this church, <laughs> the problem which made me look for a, for a church to go and get the difference, I have been doing this business. I have been a hawker since I was 15 years. Right now I am that five years. So I have done this business. I started business in industrial area when I was 15 years selling porridge. I, I met my aunt doing that job and I went. I have been doing food business since I was 15 years. It came to a time I got spirit of confusion. I started, when I, I sell my eggs or anything I sell, mostly I sell smoky said eggs. My money, I don't get, even the money which I used to, to, to buy the stock, I don't find it. So my money started getting lost. I don't know why it goes. I try to think whether I am giving back more change than I should. So the spirit disturbed me for a while. And then the testimony I'm giving right now is so painful. They took my mind. They changed. I told you today where the money goes. Tashajara Tash is combing you. She started selling food at 15. Where does she learn English from? I have to learn a testimony. Leave alone English. Uh -huh. Continue with the testimony. When I came, I, I came specifically because of that spirit of confusion. And then I, I closed my house and left everything. My house is fully stopped. I forgot even I, I am the house. I did not remember whether I had, the, I, I did not live at home. I lived at that town which is near at my home. That's where I used to sell eggs. My house is fully equipped. I have 
kitchen I have house equipments which are more than 100,000. I just left them and came to my sister and relaxed. I forgot whether I had a house. And my mind was taken. I had a new mind. And then when I came to, to the church that day, I came the first time, the second time, I remembered Jesus. I left my, my house equipment at a plot and I have not connected to the one I had So I called my mother and told her, I left the equipment of my house at a plot. And I don't know whether the landlord had taken them or they have sold them or what. That same day when I came from church, it was the that time, my mom told, called me and told me the Rad Road was at home. And he said I was the one I was, I used to pay rent before everybody and they don't know what happened to me. They ju he just gave them the, a, a lolly, they carried everything and they took it home. They took it to your home? <laughs> okay, let's go this. So your mind was taken over. You had a house where you had everything inside. One day you just left everything and went to your sister. I came to my sister at Kangemi and I felt comfortable. Where was your home? There at Runyanges town. In Runyanges town. So you just left, locked the door and left everything. Yes. And you came and forgot that you had a house. Yes. So you came to church the first time? The first time. The usher gave you the chair the second time. The second time, that is when your mind came back. Yes. That is when you called home, you called the, the, the place. Yes. And they told you that the landlord had called your people and taken your things. Yes. Home. He came and told my mom to accompany him because I was the one who was paying the rent first. And the, the owner of the house is a pastor. Yeah. So by the time I went there, at that plot, I had a problem of every year. At December, my house is, 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 is attacked by thieves and they steal everything. So I, st I decided I better pay a house where I pay more land, where there is security. So those things which have been hunting me when they realize where I live in the plot, it has CCTV, everything, they cannot steal my things. They, made, they gave me the spirit of conviction. So I was the one who was to leave the things and go. Okay, my testimony is... When I started coming in this church, it's like everything has been restored in me. Mm -hmm. Everything, I feel everything, even my children. I just, I just feel everything has been restored because the way I feel and the way... I, I, at, at, when I started doing my business, they attacked me with spirit of sickness. Whenever I started doing job, I get sick. But I feel nice like, you now I have fought it and I know I have fought everything which the devil, I have taken everything back which the devil had taken from me. And I want tomorrow to come with a testimony to tell people the only way you can expect, escape devil is learning to God. Because if I had run to God earlier, everything they had taken to me, they could not have taken anything from me, including my children. But I know, since I have given my life to Christ, I know you will install everything in me. One message I have in this church, don't let the devil be a end of you. Let's always be a end of the devil. Because if I had been a end of the devil, they could not even take my children from me. Power. But I still have the power because I know power. it's better rate than never. Amen.